right? First video in a long while, I know. Probably not gonna help most of you, but hey, some of you are skilled with this keyboard thing, and I pretty much suck with it. That's not the point. And by the way, I'm sorry if you don't approve of the word suck. Yeah, I kind of like to say it a lot. No homo. If you got homo, I'll do that somehow. Whatever. Alright, seriously, I'm gonna be showing you how to use your typing key keyboard. Like, you know, the. Like the typing keyboard. Yeah, like with the Q W E R T Y. Not a MIDI, 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 how do you pronounce it? I don't know, M I D I keyboard. Not one of those, but an actual typing keyboard to record something with. Alright? Let's get straight down to it this time instead of wasting your time with other useless garbage and pathetic comedy attempts. I just did it again. But, anyways. Alright, first, as you can see here, I have the FL keys entered into my step sequencer. And if you don't know how to get that, just right click any one of your sounds you currently have there, or at the bottom, or not at the bottom, sorry. Insert, I mean, yeah, go to insert, FL keys right there. And I have two, so I'm gonna delete mine. Second one. Now you wanna, uh, first of all, in order to do this, obviously you wanna turn on type E piano to, piano to keyboard, so that it works. Then you want to uh, select the keys and nothing else, so you can play it. And then your Q key on your keyboard is going to be C5, and I'm going to let you figure out the rest. It shouldn't take you too long. And then next step, you it's smart to do this. Count down before recording so you get some kind of warning before you just click record and you have time. And you're going to go to record, and you're going to go to automation and score. And you click play, you're going to hear like four clicks, I think. And after the fourth click, you start playing. I'm just going to play something completely random, just to demonstrate. You stop it whenever, and then turn off record, and then play it back. Whatever. The only problem with this is, if you don't perfectly, like, coordinate it, then you, get, you might get, like, an overlap. Like, if I would have just kept playing after I stopped it, then I would have something going to this, uh, oh, what are they called? You guys know what they're called. Some of you do. Whatever. And that was YouTube. Oops. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope I tried to make that quick. Sorry if I talk too fast. Oh, wait, one more thing. If you record this, let's say you don't like it, just select this channel by itself. Press Control plus X. That's Control plus X, as in, like, crap, what starts with X? Xylophone. Hold control down and press X as in xylophone. It's, good. it's just gonna delete it, cuts it. Now, if you say you accidentally delete that, but it turns out you actually did like it, hold control down and press V. V as in Vin Diesel. <laughs> v as in victory. Victory, not defeat. Yeah, so control plus V is gonna paste it right back there. And then, yeah, you have your sound back. That's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Uh, good luck making beats. Sorry, I haven't released a video in a while. I'm just so lazy. You know, you guys. I hope you guys don't mind me just making these videos. So later part, but that's it. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you want more tutorials. And lastly, if you guys like the Modern Warfare 2, then you should check out my friend. I'm gonna go ahead and link him annotation right in the middle of the screen there, nice and big for you. Click on that. He's making his first like sniper montage. Montage. I think it's like quick scoping and stuff. It's pretty cool though. If you guys like Modern Warfare 2 and you like the Modern Warfare 2 videos, you should check them out, subscribe to them, and go comment on this channel and just be like, Wizard Ruru sent me here, yo. Not to say yo, but that's all I wanted to say. tell you, so peace out.